Hi kids! This is Teacher May, your teacher for today. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the latest videos. Let's have a short review. Find me. Answer the following. Choose your answer inside the box. Let us check if you got all the correct answers. Imagine you are designing a garden in the shape of a composite figure made up of triangles. If each triangle in your design has sides of 2 meters, 3 meters, and 4 meters, how would you calculate the total length of the garden's boundary? To calculate the total length of the garden's boundary, First, calculate the perimeter of the first triangle. Then, calculate the perimeter of the second triangle. Then, get the sum of the two triangles. Now, what word can you form in these jumbled letters? The first word is the total distance around the edge of a two-dimensional shape. Very good! It is a perimeter. The second word is a figure with three edges and three vertices. It is one of the basic shapes in geometry. Very good! It is a triangle. The third word is the measurement of something from end to end. It is the longest dimension of an object. Very good! It is a length. The last word is a shape that is made up of two or more simple geometric shapes such as triangles, rectangles, circles, and so on. Very good! It is a composite figure. Perimeter The perimeter is the total distance around the edge of a two-dimensional shape. Triangle. A triangle is a figure with three edges and three vertices. It is one of the basic shapes in geometry. Length. Length is the measurement of something from end to end. It is the longest dimension of an object. Composite figure. A composite figure is a shape that is made up of two or more simple geometric shapes such as triangles, rectangles, circles, and so on. Perimeter of composite figures composed of triangles. Mr. Rabang bought a cartolina for his math class. He needs two triangles of the same size without wasting any part of the cartolina. How will he divide it? What will be the perimeter of each triangle? Who bought a cartolina for his math class?
how will he cut the cartolina into two triangles without wasting any part? What do you call the figure cut into two equal triangles like Mr. Rabang did to the cartolina he bought? What do you think is the distance around each triangle? What will be the perimeter of the two triangles? How many triangles are there in the figure? What figure was formed when the two triangles were combined? How do we solve the perimeter of two triangles? Now, let's go back to the problem. Since triangles have three sides, follow this formula. Triangle A is equal to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 or S1 plus S2 plus S3. Triangle A is equal to 50 centimeters plus 70 centimeters plus 80 centimeters. So the sum is... 200 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of triangle A is 200 centimeters. Then, calculate the perimeter of triangle B following the same formula. Triangle B is equal to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 or S1 plus S2 plus S3. Triangle B is equal to 50 centimeters plus 70 centimeters plus 80 centimeters. The sum is 200 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of triangle B is 200 centimeters. Now, add the perimeter of the two triangles. Perimeter is equal to triangle A. 200 centimeters plus triangle B 200 centimeters so 200 centimeters plus 200 centimeters is 400 centimeters therefore the perimeter of the two triangles is 400 centimeters example number one the grade 4 pupils of Pantai Elementary School were asked to draw a rhombus of two equal triangles with a side of 15 centimeters. What is the perimeter of the two triangles? What is the perimeter of the composite figure? For triangle A, perimeter is equal to 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters the sum is 45 centimeters therefore the perimeter of triangle a is 45 centimeters for triangle b perimeter is equal to 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters. The sum is 45 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of triangle B is 45 centimeters. Now, get the perimeters of the two triangles. 
perimeter is equal to 45 centimeters plus 45 centimeters. The sum is 90 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of the two triangles is 90 centimeters. But, if we are solving for the perimeter of the composite figure, which is the rhombus, we add all the sides around the figure using this formula. Perimeter is equal to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 plus side 4 since the rhombus has 4 sides. 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters. Uh, the sum is 60 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of the composite figure is 60 centimeters. Example number 2. Compute the perimeter of the composite figure. Find also the perimeter of the triangle A and B. Triangle A and Triangle B have the same measurements of their sides, which is 6 cm. Triangle A, perimeter is equal to 6 cm plus 6 cm plus 6 cm, the sum is 18 cm. Or, perimeter is equal to 3 times side or 3 times 6 centimeters. The sum is 18 centimeters. Triangle B, 6 centimeters plus 6 centimeters plus 6 centimeters. The sum is 18 centimeters. Or 3 times side, 3 times 6 centimeters. The sum is 18 centimeters. What is the perimeter of the two triangles? Triangle A plus triangle B is equal to 18 centimeters plus 18 centimeters. The perimeter is 36 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of the two triangles is 36 centimeters. But if we are solving for the perimeter of the composite figure, which is the rhombus, we add all the sides around the figure using this formula. Perimeter is equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus S4 since the rhombus has 4 sides. Perimeter is equal to 6 cm plus 6 cm plus 6 cm plus 6 cm. The sum is 24 cm. Therefore, the perimeter of the composite figure is 24 centimeters.